Okay. So you're gonna take the corn husk, kind of lay it out flat. Get your masa. I like to use a fat spoon like this if you have them. If the masa rolls off of the um, corn husk, it's okay. Just set it onto a flat surface and you're gonna just push it into the corn husk a little bit. What I like to do is concentrate on this part of the corn husk. You wanna leave a little bit of space from the top so when it steams and expands, it's not gonna to get too big and um, overflow out of the tamale. So I'm just doing maybe a quarter inch um, thickness of tamale, as you can see there. So let's get a little bit more. Don't be afraid to take it all the way to the edges of the husk as well. So you kind of want it to look like that. Um, sauce or filling, it doesn't matter what you do first, but we'll just show you. I'm gonna put a little bit of sauce. Really, you only need about a tablespoon of ingredients in the middle. Just as a sample, this is our cheese. Add as much stuff as you want. You can do a bunch of cheese, a bunch of sauce, meat with the jalapeno ones, doesn't matter. So now what I like to do is I fold my tamale completely over. That way we know that this is completely covered. All your ingredients are covered in a package. You'll have a little bit of masa out here and that's gonna help make it stick when you close it. Close it. And if you see the seam here, it's going to be easy to wrap it back and make it secure that way. And that's it.